Hi and welcome back. So for today's video, I am going to teach you how to make your home smell incredible. The very first thing that you want to do is that you want to open your windows and allow for fresh air to come in because this is like a reset button, let me tell you. I am also going to be sharing two DIYs with you. So for the first DIY, this is a little secret that makes a huge difference and it's so easy. All you're going to need is a Ziploc bag, you are going to need a fork, and you are going to need scented beads. What you're going to do is that you are going to poke holes into the Ziploc bag. Once you poke the holes, what you're going to do is that you're going to pour the scented beads into the Ziploc bag. I poured about half a cup, but if you have smaller bags, then I think with one cup you can maybe have four batches, so I think you'll be okay. Once you do that, you are going to start folding the Ziploc bag. Mind you, I'm only folding mine because it's a very large bag. This is a gallon. So once I fold it, I don't fold the very bottom. And then what I do is that I put it behind cushions or in areas where the scent can really start lingering. Also, Glass House Fragrances has this delicious perfume. This is called Forever Florence. The reason why I like spraying perfume into fabrics is because it is going to stick on. Something else that I like to do is that I always like to have a clean sink. You guys know that I love burning candles. I think candles just make the air smell amazing. I am burning this candle which smells incredible. This is called Blossoms and Blooms. It is a very light scent, but at the same time, very refreshing. So before going into the next room, what you wanna do is that you wanna preheat your oven to 300 degrees. I love going into my bathroom and seeing everything just tidy and clean, but at the same time smelling fresh. This orchid and blood orange diffuser is so beautiful, but at the same time it smells so good. To be honest with you, I don't even have a wall plug anymore, instead I have this diffuser and I've noticed that the scent really lingers and it smells fresh all the time and it looks beautiful on the counter, I'm not gonna lie to you. I want to show you another DIY. So this is very inexpensive into a pan or whatever it is that you have. You wanna add some water and then what I did was that I added vanilla extract. You can add any oil of your choice, but I just really like the smell of vanilla and you are going to pop this in the oven and you're going to leave it and then your entire home will slowly just smell incredible. Something else that I love to do is that I love to clean my floors. So I use the Swiffer Wet Mop and it is life changing. They have scented pads which are incredible so that's an extra fragrance that you can add on. And then of course you go into the bedroom. I had done laundry already and now I want to tell you about this other fragrance which is delicious. This one is called Sydney Sundays and it's a very light scent, it is very refreshing and it really takes over the entire room which is something that I really like. And then with that same perfume that I have shown you guys, I am going to spray the blinds that I have in the bedroom and this is just going to make the room smell so much better. I hope that you learned a lot today and that these tips help your home smell good. I will see you very soon. Take care. Bye.